On this episode of the Backcountry Vagabond, we are stranded on our island. I want to see the permission! I mean, this is so stupid! This is your Backcountry Vagabond, Greg Sidnam, inviting you to join me for a backcountry adventure. Hey ho, I'm Backcountry Vagabond. I am out here at Huckleberry Lake. I made it. It's day five, middle of the day. I don't really have a whole lot of shelter here, so my tent gets really, really hot. I've got a little tarp up to give myself some shade, but oh well. So, a lot to talk about. I don't record a lot on the trail, mostly because I'm tired as hell. You know, that first day the pack seems okay. I'm lighter, you know, I'm like 66, 68 pounds as opposed to 71. But by the second day, you really feel it. By the third day, <laughs> I'll tell you, by yesterday, the fourth day, I was just praying to get through it. I got to Huckleberry Lake like 420, baby, woo -woo! And then I got to the island around 5, 50 and the mosquitoes were awful. I had a big plan. I was going to get to Huckleberry Lake. Then I was going to go ahead and show you how to unpack your pack and blow up the boat and load it in. What it really happened was I got to Huckleberry Lake. The mosquitoes were so bad that I did everything as quickly as I could and just got it done with. The stupid, stupid, stupid bugs. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's take it back a ways because there, there's a, an important point that I haven't really told you guys about. On day two, uh, I had left Shingle Springs. I was uh, moving up the hill. You know, I really need to, uh, okay. So I step off the trail. I find myself a little spot. I go into my pack and I realize <laughs> that I forgot toilet paper. Now I don't normally bring toilet paper per se. You know, I don't bring a couple of rolls or even sheets. What I do is I typically get one of those little packs of baby wipes and throw that in there and they're heavy, but they're wonderful to have. The thing is, is I was already four and a half miles into the trail and it was time, it was time right now. <laughs> so I discovered that cedar boughs Eh, not so good. <laughs> you know, when you're out here, you're only doing that kind of business uh, once every two or three days. I'll rough it, and this is roughing it. If you, if you don't have toilet paper when you're out here, that's roughing it, in my opinion. This is why you don't rush. This is why you don't rush. You forget toilet paper when you rush. So I'm out here. And I've made it to Huckleberry Lake. I'm on my island. I set up my whole camp. I go to go fishing and my reel jams. Uh-oh. Last night, I spent two hours taking it apart the best I could. I've got a little Swiss uh, army knife with scissors for my, my knife this year. And that was working fine until I already lost my damn uh, tackle box. You know, the tackle box, the little green bottle that has all my lures. Well, I decided to put my Swiss knife in there and it's here somewhere. I know it's here. I just, pfft. it reminds you in a hurry how important it is to put shit away. You need to put shit away. Because if you don't, you don't remember where you left it, then you're out here looking for it. Day five, right? I told you I hadn't seen anybody since day two. I'm getting ready to go take a nap and there's some dumbass at the, dumbass, that's really not fair. There's some guy at the end of the lake, like he's taking a drink of water out of my lake where there's not supposed to be any people. That's not allowed. Didn't check in with me. Where's your wilderness permit? I want to see the permission. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's nice to see people out here, but I specifically went out of my way hoping I wouldn't have to see people. I guess just going to have to settle for not having to talk to people. <laughs> I was able to get a couple of casts out this morning and on the very first cast, I caught myself a brook trout. A nice little nine and a half inch brook trout. I thought, okay, although the mosquitoes were awful, eating me alive. I mean, I just, 
they're bad this year. So I catch the brook trout and I'm getting eaten up. So I jump right back into the tent and I'm in the sun and it's getting hot and oh, it's just awful. And I hate life and why did I come? And this is so stupid. Anyhow, I decided to go back down and see if I can get my reel to work. It still won't freaking work, but I get three more casts and I get another rainbow. Woo woo! This one's about 14 inches long. So now I've got two fish standing by for the larder in my little larder, which is just, you know, right off the edge here, uh, drops down. And I just put a Ziploc with a rock in it and, you know, put the clean fish in there and it, the water keeps them cool so that they're not too stiff and dried out by the time I'm cooking them later tonight. Things are overall good. The next thing to do is to fly the drone a little bit and make sure that the Wi-Fi on the drone, which may or may not work out here, which may limit the, the range that I have with it. If all that comes together and I'm it, then I can shoot drone footage for the next three weeks. And I'm looking forward to the possibility. For right now, that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna sign off go patch my boat because <laughs> I forgot about this. So I get all the way to the island and I start unloading my stuff. I walk up to my camp. I know that I've got the, the pad in the bottom of the boat. No, no problem. But I leave it down there for a while. I get back there and the boat's got like a cup two cups of water in the bottom and then my pack is just soaked and I'm thinking well, I'm gonna have to repatch it and I brought multiple patches this time but I look as I flip the boat over today to get ready to patch it and when I put my stuff in there I popped a hole in the bottom of that boat so now I've got two holes to patch and hopefully I'm able to get out on the water tomorrow because you have to leave it for the patch that I'm using for 12 hours with constant pressure so we've got a plan but right now we are stranded on our island. Thank goodness, because I'd rather be no place else. Until later, I'm Greg, Backcountry Vagabond. This could be you. Of course, don't forget toilet paper. What the f are you thinking, dumbass?